to another DV tutorials, but this tutorial is specifically for image module. Yeah, so we will cover two things. The first one is how you can manipulate your image modules and how you can also manipulate your column module sizes. If I missed something in this video, um, feel free to check out my article version. So yeah, because I normally put all my information there if I miss something in this video. But again, I always recommend you stay tuned so you can really know how it works. So without further ado, let's begin guys. One, two. Okay, so what if you want to come up with this longer version of image, but um, you're kind of worried on how it looks in mobile devices like you don't want this to be like this I mean this is too much right so how you can come up with longer version on the desktop side and make this cut off on mobile version and even in this smaller devices because the bad thing without the bad thing in DV is you can only target their default I think to tablet and mobile and this 980 like they mentioned this one this is not really um, it's not available on the DV selection so how you can manipulate that using a CSS class or declaring a custom CSS so I'm gonna teach you how okay first is you need to declare a class into your column so i'm gonna um, um enable the visual builder okay enable the visual builder and then um go into the okay hold on a minute so i'm gonna go to the the gray one uh, green one and then we will add another columns there uh class and i'm gonna call that press img okay and now let's save that and go to the DV theme options and then custom CSS okay now what we will do is just um, type in declare a media query max width of 980px and then we will add the press that we did there so press column and then I'm gonna put in IMG okay and now we will add another class or um, we will add a declaration of 200 px so what basically um, saying in here is we want to make all the press um, thing that in uh, we want to make the images that is under the press uh, hyphen IMG class to a height of 200 px so let's do that and then let's refresh and then i'm gonna inspect the elements again and we will uh, make it 200 i mean 29780 would be fine or 2279 whichever you like so as you can see here it already um squashed to 200 so what we can do, I mean, this one looks really bad. We don't want, I mean, we like this size thing, but I don't want to be like this. So how you can do that, you can put in object feet of cover. Okay, and let's save that one and let's refresh it again. Okay, so let's refresh it again. Let's go back on the here. So we have that already. So, I mean, I mean, this is good, but I want it to be at the top. Like, we're just cutting the sections of the static, um, like, grid thing that we did. So, how we can do that. Okay, again, I'm going to put that 300px. And we will type in object fit position to um, probably top to center. Okay. And let's try to refresh that again. And let's see so yeah so this is the style that I'm looking for but kind of like this one is just a test this um, test images so I need to come up with a higher resolution but we already I already made the like the layout this is really the layout what I want okay so 
like this one. So if I turn that to be in the desktop version, um, where are we at? So we, it is in a longer version, and if we make that um, 980, it is in a shorter version. So like that. Um, if you want this to be clickable, um, there's also options for you to do that. Um, you can come up with a different images and make that clickable. But the declaration of our press hyphen IMG would be different. Um, yeah, so actually, let me show you how we can do that. So to do that, um, we can come up with something like this. Uh, okay, so what we can do there is we can do something like this. So what if your images is, I'm going to add a different sample. So that one, let's just add that one for reference so let's say oops so let's say this one okay and you want this to be sh um, shorter but clickable okay so let's try to add like a click there just a sample and then you want this to be on like a grid format like it, it is block version on the mobile version but you want it to be grid on um what do you call that on mobile version so how you can do that okay so let's refresh again and i'm going to inspect the elements and make it um 980 so make it this one as you can see here it looks something like this but what if we want it to be like they are um, sit beside to each other so what you can do is we will revise this code we're gonna use a still the same actually it's still the same but I'm gonna use a press IMG and then we will add a Read, or we can come up with a flex okay and then save let's refresh that and voila so they are ready sitting beside to each other we can also come up with another grid type but that's basically how you can manipulate the like the layout on DV. You, unfortunately, you need to use a CSS class or a jQuery or a JavaScript if you want to manipulate um, a browser size that is not available on the default visibility option in DV.